Now to today's TMJ4 exclusive. Six weeks after Kelly Dwyer's disappearance, tough words from her father. Her father admitted to us this afternoon that he does not think his daughter is alive. Michelle Fiore joins us now, and this has to be heartbreaking for the family, Michelle. Absolutely, Mike and Carol. Kelly's father does not think his daughter's alive, but he's still desperate to know what happened to her, and they're hoping attention from national media now will help. It's been six long weeks since Kelly Dwyer disappeared. Finally, her dad's facing his greatest fear. Do you not think Kelly's alive? Um, I don't think she's alive. I don't think she's alive. I got a chance to talk with both of Kelly's parents, Maureen and Tony Dwyer. It's getting harder every day. They're frustrated with the investigation. I think the Milwaukee Police Department has some wonderful people working there, and I think their hearts are in the right place. But for some particular reason, this case has not gotten the priority that it should. Kelly's boyfriend has not been arrested in her disappearance. However, Chris Zacco has been charged with keeping a drug house and 17 counts of possessing child porn. Prosecutors asked for a quarter of a million dollars in bail, calling him a probable homicide suspect. Everything points to the fact that he did do something. In my heart of hearts, I believe it's he did something. The case is now getting national attention. Talk show host Nancy Grace posted a story about Kelly on her website. It's now one of the most popular. Statistically, women are killed or go missing at the hands of those closest to them. Statistically speaking, she was kidnapped or killed by someone she knows. Kelly's parents just hope it helps. But we all know the more eyes, the better. Tony Dwyer says he prays every day for answers. The family is offering a $10,000 reward for anyone that helps them find Kelly. They're also hoping to get more law enforcement to join in the search, including the FBI. Mike and Carol. Hopefully they can get some peace. Thank you very much, Michelle.